Hello, so today it's the 15th of February and I'm going to be planting some spinach seeds. So spinach is a great plant to get growing early because they don't like to go over about 27 degrees C, which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That can cause them to bolt. So a nice early start when the weather's not too warm and you can get your crop before the temperature gets to that level. That's the general idea anyway. So going to be using this cell tray here of multi-purpose compost it's home base brand nothing else added to it and you can see there are 10 cells in this tray here so spinach don't like to be disturbed they don't like root disturbance so I'm going to go straight into those and they can stay in there until they're big enough to be planted out probably at the allotment so the variety I'm going to be planting today is called Bloomsdale Long Standing and these came from Premier Seeds Direct and I'm literally just going to be planting one per cell tray. I say one per cell tray, I mean one per cell in the tray. So literally just like this, really straightforward stuff. I'm then going to cover with multi-purpose compost. I have my tag here of what it is, so spinach, the date in which it's planted, and also the variety. I then proceed to water it with my little watering can here. I like to use rainwater if possible. And this is going to be going on an indoor windowsill until they germinate. Have a variety of spinach here called Matador, which I planted on the 5th of February, so 10 days ago. And bring it out here today, just brought it out here. Been on the windowsill ever since. They took about seven or eight days to germinate. They're at this stage now, and they're going to remain out here until I plant them out, because I, if I leave them on the indoor windowsill, they could get leggy. So looking nice and healthy, and they should stay that way if I leave them out here in the cell tray. Hello, today we're going to be planting out the varieties of true spinach, and we're going to try to do it before too much rain comes down. But anyway, so I've got two varieties here, Matador here and Bloomsdale Long Standing here. So the Matador I planted in the cell trays on the 5th of February. They're inside for about two weeks and have been out in the polytunnel ever since then, so they didn't go leggy. Bloomsdale Long Standing, planted on the 15th of February, once again inside for about 10 days, two weeks or so, then back out to the polytunnel. So once again, they did not go leggy. So here they are, they're ready to plant out. So if you look at the plants there, you can see they're not particularly big, but I want to get them out because spinach plants do not like root disturbance. I don't want them to get big roots in there and have to disturb them too much. So I'm going to plant them out now. So they're going to be going in this bed here. And in this bed, well, it's a growing medium and it's a no dig style, well draining, fertile, gives me good yields of crops. So first thing I'm going to do, it might be unnecessary because it might rain, but I'm just going to give it some water here. So this is rainwater from the water butt and I'm literally going to well saturate the growing medium here. So we're going to start with the variety Matador. So I'm going to put them in about four inches apart, 10, 11 centimeters or so. And we're going to go in a straight line that way. I don't want to go too close to these broad beans here. So we're going to take them out like so and just take lots of care. We really don't want to damage the root structure. So that's really nice, actually. I'll let you have a look at this. So that's what it looks like there. Look, nice looking plant and ready to go in. So I'm going to put that in like that and I'm going to plant it just below the lower leaves. Push that in like so. and firm that in nicely like that. We should do the next one with a bit of a close-up so you can see just what I'm doing. So we're good to take our plant out like so. There it is, really nice. Make sure, if you can, you try to not damage any roots. Nice little worm in the growing medium there. And this is going to go in like so, same way as the other plant. So I have eight and a half plants here. I say eight and a half because the one at the far end, this one here, has only just germinated in the cell tray, but uh, we'll put him in and see how he does. So I'm going to tag these. 
date in which they were initially planted, 5th of February, the variety, true spinach, and the date in which I've planted them out here, which is the 11th of March. Our next variety, Bloomsdale Long Standing, so planted on the 15th of February, a later planting to the Matador, so I'm expecting the roots to be less well developed. So they're going to be planted away from the Matador, about eight inches or so, starting off here. So let's get a plant out and we shall have a little look at what they look like. So let's just uh, pop the plant out. There we go. Looks good. Let you have a look. There it is. We'll go about here. And once again, just plant in two mils or so, eighth of an inch, whatever, away from the bottom leaf. And try and firm in so that he stands up straight, just like that. So we have six and a half plants of Bloomsdale long standing. Going to tag them up with all the necessary dates, varieties, planting out, initially planted, etc. And uh, there they are. So they shouldn't need anything in the way of frost protection, at least with the weather we're getting around here anyway. But uh, I'm going to put some horticultural fleece over the top of them. And the reason for that is I want to protect them from birds because birds, I imagine, would have absolutely adore to uh, eat these. So what we're going to do is just get some fleece like this. I mean, the extra warmth provided by the fleece, it may help at uh, this time of year, but I wouldn't class it as a necessity, but uh, protecting them from birds, I would say is. So nice bit of horticultural fleece, very handy. And uh, of course, one may wish to make regular checks for slugs and snails underneath uh, this sort of thing, because uh, one could say that uh, it's a nice little warm home for them. But uh, there we are fleeced up make sure you don't damage any uh, of your seedlings as you do your fleecing up there it is we shall await our crop so we're on the 26th of april and uh, the spinach plants are doing very well. The uh, Bloomsdale long standing is growing a bit slower than the Matador, but I expected that. So uh, getting some nice sized leaves. So this one here, I'm gonna cut that off with some scissors. So some people don't do too well with uh, raw vegetables, but uh, yeah, that's nice. I try and eat quite a few raw vegetables if I can, but uh, do your research to see if it's the right thing for you to do. Nice crunchy stem on that. And I really can, you know, imagine just how nutritious that is. So, plenty of nice little leaves coming, so you can harvest them if you wish. You can let them get bigger, like the one you just see, or you just saw. So. Temperature-wise, it's been very good for the growing of spinach. We're currently getting days of about 12 degrees C. So 12 degrees C, what's that? That's about 55 Fahrenheit, something like that. Optimum temperature for spinach to grow is about 15 to 25 degrees C. So that would be about 60 to 75 Fahrenheit. So yeah, and we have had temperatures about uh, indeed that. So yeah, very good. I took the fleece off that you can hopefully see there behind me before filming this video. I've been covered up ever since you saw me plant them because I uh, don't want to risk birds getting them. But uh, yeah, looking uh, promising indeed and it's not warm enough for them to bolt yet. You can see I've watered them. Make sure you keep your spinach plants well hydrated. You don't want to uh, stress them and because that can, of course, lead to bolting. But uh, yeah, hopefully your spinach plants are doing well also. There we are, all covered over once again for uh, protection from birds. So 5th of May and uh, growth really has happened here. I mean, look at that, this Bloomsdale long standing. So I'm going to be uncovering them now 
and uh, leaving them uncovered. I'm going to be leaving this bit here covered though because I actually have some uh, carrots growing here which I don't want to be disturbed but uh, we'll be discussing that in another video. So some really nice big leaves now. The Bloomsdale long standing actually that really has came into growth as well. Good opportunity to do a bit of weeding there but uh, look at these leaves. So you can see the matador here. Yeah, it really has come on. And look at the beautiful colour of those leaves. Just imagine the nutrition in there. And uh, the Bloomsdale long standing as well. Look at that look. That's really come into growth the last week or so. Well, we'll have a nice harvest, shall we, of the matador. So, warming up now. We're meant to be getting up. They've got temperatures around 20 degrees C next week. So what's that, 68 Fahrenheit. Now, as I stated earlier in this video, true spinach can tend to bolt when the temperature gets warm and that combined with the longer days, which we're certainly getting now. So I wanna get a good crop, good harvest before these bolt. But look at that leaf, absolutely lovely there. All I'm doing really is just uh, cutting them off at the base using scissors. So these will keep growing, so just keep taking your leaves off from where they start and uh, hopefully you'll have some nice feeds from your plants for a little bit longer yet. So I'm not actually going to touch the uh, Bloomsdale long standing yet, I want it to get bigger, but the way I'm harvesting it is just go to the base like that and cut it off with the scissors. Nice firm stems actually. Might even uh, probably cook these up for dinner tomorrow. And the leaves, really sort of, look at that slug look. Get out of it. Yeah, so the leaves, they're really thick feeling, almost like leathery. Very interesting this is to grow. So there we are. There is uh, today's harvest of uh, true spinach, variety matador. So 10th of May, I just cut the uh, head off of this spinach there. Look, look at that nice hollow centre. So uh, just about to uh, boil this up or steam this up and uh, have this with my tea. Greetings, Dan here, 12th of May. And today I took a look at the spinach plants here and I noticed that one of the matador had started to bolt. So we're getting relatively warm temperatures. So about 20 degrees today, around 68 Fahrenheit. And we were, I think it was last week sometime 24 degrees C, something like that, about 75 Fahrenheit. So certainly getting up there for, uh, you know, the temperature in which spinach will, or true spinach will bolt at. So let's have a look at the start of the bolting and I'll show you how I'm going to harvest them. I'm gonna take them all out today. There you go, so you can see the uh, seed head forming there. Haven't noticed any forming on any of the other plants, but uh, they won't be far off that now. So uh, Matador, they are all coming out today. So it's going to be really simple and all I'm doing is I'm going to take out the entire plant and uh, I'll take these up and or take these out and cut the bits off and probably boil a load of them up this evening and uh, maybe do some tomorrow. So I'm going to be leaving the Bloomsdale long standing in because there's no sign of uh, that bolting yet, not expecting it to grow slower etc etc and the name Bloomsdale long standing as well. So there we are and uh, it's time for these spinach plants to come out and uh, here is three of them. So there they are all harvested. I wanted to get them out because I need that space and uh, don't want them to bolt because I want them to remain a nice taste. So I don't want them to go bitter, which can happen when uh, plants bolt. So a uh, nice variety and um, spinach matador. I can recommend that you grow this if you live in a similar climate to here, Southeast UK here. USDA zone 8B, and uh, yeah, I uh, call this a success. So 16th of May, and I've noticed that uh, one of, in fact, no, one, two, three of the Bloomsdale long-standing plants are now starting to bolt. 
was expecting. It's getting warm, well it is warm, and um, you know, day, days are quite long now, so there we are, but uh, nice. Nice thick leaves. So yeah, nice variety to grow as well, but uh, over the next few days, probably the next day or so, I'll be removing these, boiling them up, steaming them, and uh, there we are. So that concludes this video on how to grow true spinach. If you enjoyed that video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, comments, questions, whatever. Please feel free to ask them. And um, yeah, I'll link a few videos down below that might interest you as well. And I'll see you in the next video.